Okay, this is some talk today is very, it's actually interesting. Okay, let's see. Oh, the wisdom talk today we still in the series of the eight blessings of life, and today we are on the thirty third blessing. So, just right, a few more we can finish the eight blessings of life. The topic today we will discuss is okay is what realizing the four noble truths so what is the four noble truths and why we have to realize it and what can we benefit to our life i will share to you in this wisdom talk if you have any idea to share yeah feel free to in the chat box then you have question, right? Four noble truths for anyone who just joined today. You may have a question. What it is? So what is realizing the four noble truths? Why do you have to realize? To re is what? Is it to realize the truth of life? So four noble truths can be the truth of life. And what? What is the truth of life? This is a very short answer, but the big meaning, it is suffering. It is suffering. So, overall, I can say realizing the Four Noble Truths is you realize about suffering in your life. Your life is suffering. As we are human right now, we have a, we are suffer, suffer. Happy that we found, that we get it right now, is that temporary not the permanent happy you have house you have money that is temporary because one day one day all of these items will be gone so do we have another way so do we have any permanent happiness yes i will share you the but the buddha always say the way to get permanent or inner peace inner happiness already so but as we found happiness right now, it is a temporary happiness. It's, but it is suffering. Um, information for this slide, this um, uh, these uh, blessings I got from Tipitaka, which is the Pali Canon of Buddhism, and it's in the chapter called Mangala Sutta Kutaka Nikaya. This is the minor collections, these courses of the Buddha. So what I just said, and then I bring all information and apply to this slide. So the four noble truths, what it consists of, the four noble truths consists of four, four points. First, Tukha. In Pali we call Tukha. We see the pain and suffering. Your suffering that we found that we have that experience by the body or the mind. You can suffer in your body, suffer in your mind, like injuries or depression, anything that you get bad. It's called Tukha. Uh, the second one, Samuttaya. So when we, when we found the suffering, so what is the cause of suffering? What is the way that brought us to, to find suffering? Yeah, this is Samuttaya or Samuttaya. And the third one, Niroda. When we when we uh, got a suffering, we know the um, the the cause of suffering. So, do we have the state or place that we can um, avoid suffering? Yes, it's Niroda, the cessation of suffering. And third one, how to get there? We call Makha. Uh, sorry, fourth one, Makha. It's the way the path leading to the cessation of suffering. This is a stepway. So we just learn more about these four things. Okay, we will go, we will go on the Tukha first. Tukha consists of two, two, uh, two ways. Uh, permanent Tukha and we call permanent suffering and temporary suffering. Permanent suffering is... Is all Tukha is what? Birth is ages. And rest in peace. 
why birth is suffering? Because when we birth, birth is kind of like the origin of suffering. Because okay, when the mother gives you birth, you feel, she feel pain, right? She feel pain to to take you out, and you will feel pain because uh, the world is the world from inside the womb or the world outside that you found is the real world is different. So you feel that um there no nothing protect you at 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 the baby as the baby. So if you cry, you shout a lot of that. And who gonna know that the future life of that baby can be good all the time? No, it's sometimes it's good and bad. So we we born to what to pay in what we did in the past, good and bad. Sometimes if you did something bad, law come a bad come up, you could reborn again. You found a bad life, and jump sometimes if you don't have any right view or right way of your life, you will do what to bad come again. So this is as the we start. Is this a beginning point to a, to be the victim victim of suffering and to do suffering? This is the why we think that birth is suffering. Second one, second one, you got get old, you lost the energy, right? You cannot do anything, and sometimes. Diseases attack you. You cannot do anything. You feel pain. You hurt. You cannot do. You is a warning inside it. It's it one, and rest in peace. Some I think some of you, most of you, don't want to die right now because you have the money. You want to go anywhere. You want to do something more and more. You want to find peace. If you die, how can I can I get a happy? So because you don't know the life after death yet. You feel pain. You feel worry about death, and we, and somebody might not die with it peacefully. They would die what because of attack, because of accident, murder, by some suffering. Okay, and okay, that's this is a the permanent suffering, and what. What is temporary, temporary suffering? That's uh, it relates to emotion and feeling, grief, sadness, anxieties, or so so. Ha. Second one, pining for somebody or something, or or we call paritewa in the Pali word. So you can you may not remember the Pali word, but you know the meaning. You know the what it is, and third one, t u k a Illness, you ill, you got sick, you got the bad disease. Is it a way of suffering? Fourth, feeling hurt, right? Feeling hurt, your stress. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, uh, we call tomanat, tomanasa. And fifth one, feeling depressed, feeling abandoned. Upayasa, like you feel so, you are so isolated from other people. You are lonely. Six, ah,、uh, sorry, um, ah,、uh, six. Forgot that. Sorry, feeling frustrated from encountering something undesirable or a p i e h i s a m p a y o k a you feel suffering, um, frustrated with the thing, or you feel disappointed. We have seventh one, seventh one. What is seventh? Grieving the loss of someone or something. p i e h i w i p a y o k a Okay, and the last one, eighth one, feeling gloomy. For not getting what we want, you feel disappointed because you didn't get in what you desire, what you want. So this is a temporary, tukha, temporary suffering. Okay. Ah,、uh, if we talk about it, so we know what is suffering. What is、uh, what are the type of suffering? What is the cause of suffering? The cause of suffering. We call samutai the cause of suffering. It consists of three things. We call karma tanha, bhava tanha, and vipava tanha. Karma tanha, the first one, the first one, karma tanha, craving for thing. It means your pleasure, your mind is pleasure with, ah,、uh, your mind, sorry, your mind is pleasure with um something that you attach with, right, the body. Good body. Oh, I like to have a good body, beautiful body. Taste. Ah, I I like sweet. So in every time I eat food, I have to take 
which is to add more sugar because I attach, I addict with the sweet taste, with any taste you like. Uh, smell. Okay, I like this flower because it smells good. You attach with smell, you cannot um, stay with the bad smell or um, smoke or anything you don't like. You attach with the smell. Uh, noise. Oh, I love the noise of what? Of uh, soft music or anything. I cannot hear that hard rock music. So it, your ears attach with, with, with the noise. If you found experience with a bad noise, you feel pain and suffering. So, uh, touch, you feel touchy, touchy. Oh, I like soft and I, I don't like hard. Yep. You attach with it, touching, touching huh? the, the, uh, the item. And I feel the feeling, pleasure. Oh, I, I love her so much. And then I feel frustrated with, she broken my heart. This is what the, your heart, your mind attached with all things or five things through five things of door with pleasuring. Power Tanha, second one, the craving for wanting to be something desirable. You want to be something, you want to get something, you want the feeling of wanting. This is cause of suffering. We Power Tanha, the craving for being distant from something undesirable you want you don't want this thing but you want to be away but you cannot avoid that is suffering like in any place oh i don't like this house but i have to stay on it i have no way to to be away from this house this for example in any situation any place any time about the time too from undesirable things you don't want to stay with uh, this is a cause of suffering but what is the state that we feel, can feel calmness and away from suffering? You know what we are doing in the beginning of the my shower meditation. We have so, so many ways to meditate. Uh, we call nirodha, the cessation of suffering. What is? It is the state whereby the mind is free from defilements, from craving, and it is kept still at the center of one's body at all time when you meditate this is a time of inner peace this is a time for permanent happiness away from suffering practice more and more your mind will be happy last one how to get there so yeah the way of practice to get the like to find the inner peace like you are sitting meditation meditation is one way but there's the more way we call um, makkha, which is the path leading to cessation of suffering. And in the Buddhism, we have the stepway called the Noble Eightfold Path, Eight Ways. Eight Way is what? Right view, right intention. Right view is you see the things correctly it's about the good thing in your life, like right? abstaining from killing, from she, uh, from cheating, from abstaining, from stealing, and do not do sexual misconduct, and be away from intoxicants. This is just just example, moral of conduct that could help you to have a right view of life, right intention, or right thought. You free your mind of evil. You be free of that right speech, or speak only endearing speech right action do the good job good job that not harm or take others life right livelihood respect others life you respect to other people right effort right effort to be a uh, resistant evil of your life you have to go have good willingness to do good thing right um Right concentration. Right concentration is meditation. You do meditate. It's a way to purify your mind, to be free from all negativity, from all suffering. Right mindfulness, awareness of your thought all the way. This is the airfall path that you should practice together, not just not only anyone or not just only start from one to eight. No, you can do together. Do together. And what's the result if you practice noble ethical 
test the result you're gonna find here in the happiness you see that in the in the graphic because uh, at at the center is in a peace and and the discipline meditation and wisdom is is uh, the the way to get in a peace and the right speed right action right life food we put it in the category of discipline right effort right mindfulness right concentration is in the meditation and right view right intention is in the wisdom so this is custom this that's a pathway to bring you to find inner peace when you find inner peace you will be away from suffering so the idea of this um of 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 this wisdom talk today realizing that uh, for noble truth is realize about suffering in our life and realize how to be away and avoid from suffering okay thank you very much for wisdom talk today i would like to turn microphone back to dr pam our mc thank you very much